Hey guys! Sounds like I missed something pretty crazy from the look at the chat there, from the last game. But hey, this is Raiders of the Lost Ark for Atari 2600. As you can see, I've got a controller holder here, because this game uses both controllers. I just want to introduce it very briefly here before we start. This game runs on a global timer. There are item drops and certain events that happen at certain times. Uh, that's the important thing to know. Let me uh, get started here. Hold on. We'll reset. Just so happens that the global timer starts at power on, and the speedrun timer starts when you first control the character, which means we have some time to kill. This is Taco Bell Tasty Temple Challenge. Um, this is a DOS game that came with uh, a kid's meal for Taco Bell. And it's basically a Doom clone. The goal here is to collect keys and get your way to the end to find the Grande meal. So first of all, we're gonna get this, um, we're gonna get this crowbar. And we're gonna just keep going back here. Now there is a trigger, or there's a button that you can actually hit through a wall. So we're gonna hit that and skip about half of the run. Uh, let's see. Nice, got it. Okay. So we're heading back to the start now. And you jump over here. Now that we have the crowbar, we can open this gate. And we're just gonna go through here. And hit this shiny silver key. Now I actually have a physical copy of this game, but I don't have a uh, floppy drive to play it on, unfortunately. So, you know, one of these days. Alright. Sorry for not much commentary, I gotta focus. This is a really intense speed game. I'm gonna take the safe route here for the marathon. Crap. That's not the right way. Wait, what, what is the right way? I'm... uh-oh. Hopefully I can still finish this in time. Got the key. Oh boy. Alright. Let's go. This game is, uh, it's, it's basically a maze. You gotta find all the stuff. And we're almost there at the end, though. We just have to fight a mummy and we're good to go. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. He's hitting me. He's hitting me. All right. Go on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. And that's GG. All right. And we will switch. We'll switch back here. And three, two, one, go. So this is uh, Indiana Jones: Raiders of the Lost Ark for Atari. If you don't uh, drop your gold there at just the right place, it doesn't count. We're going into the secret entrance through this with the um, medallion. Walk under here. If you touch any of these walls, you'll warp back into the dungeon. Now this is one of the time-based rooms here, so depending on what time after the game starts, different items are going to appear in this room. I'm going to want to have two gold, and then I'm going to want to drop my whip so that I can fit the next item when it appears. Still waiting for the cycle. So all that waiting on the title screen means I have to wait a whole lot less in-game. So now we have the Ankh, which will let us warp out of here. And we have our grapple hook, which is this swirling dot, and you have to time the dot whenever it's over top of a green area, and you'll warp to that spot. Now the biggest thing we were trying to do by waiting on the title screen is get the sunrise 
to not have to wait so long for it. So we have to get in here with the key and have the medallion at the sunrise, which will be any second now, and that'll tell us the location of the arc, which is random each time. The location is very top right, which is quite good, actually. That's like the most ideal spawn. Alright, this shovel is going to cost us two gold. Whoops, come on. Shovel costs two gold. We don't need the key anymore. We do need another whip. And back into the secret tunnel. Now, we're doing 100% category, which means that we have to get the Easter egg ending. This game is actually made by the same person who made Yars Revenge and um, E.T. And so there is a Yars Revenge Easter egg in this game. So we're going to be getting that, and if you get the easter egg and then finish the game, you will um, get to see the designer's initials on the ending screen. So we're waiting here now for a certain item to spawn. There it is. Alright, warp out again with the Ankh. Now, if you notice, ah, uh, I pushed the button, but didn't count. This is shaped like a UFO. I'm going to drop that. You can actually see the sprite for Yar at the very top for a split second. All right, we got the Easter egg. I know it was fast, but we got it. Don't worry. It was there. All right, now we are going, and we're going to actually go get the arc, which was in the top right location, which is, like, the best. So now we have this, which is another way to grapple, but this one does not warp us out, so we have to go on foot. By the way, the controls here... Oh, why isn't it letting me go out that way? I'm disappointed. The controls here, uh, one joystick manages inventory, one joystick manages movement. So we're going to have to land on this part, because this spot... That is where the uh, thing was, and we're going to equip our parachute, and very precise, got it, I'm so glad, because that's really hard. And we have our shovel, those guys will steal your items and screw you over, and we beat it, there it is. Easter egg is the HSM2 at the bottom of the screen, and time, and I don't know, that might have been a world record, it's hard to say, because that was pretty much perfect RNG. I just wasted a little time trying to take a secret exit that wouldn't work for some reason. So anyway, I hope you were able to see that. I That was a lot to, to do, but holy moly, what a game. So if you want to play this yourself, the true any percent route would just be guess the arc location correctly. And um, there you go. <laughs> That's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Tune in next time for an exciting run of, I don't, I don't actually know what's, what's next. So, there you go. That's it. That's all I got for you. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. <laughs>